Greetings everyone and welcome to another quick little tutorial, this one in Photoshop. Have you ever wondered how graphic artists and illustrators and even photographers sometimes when they're adding text or copyrights or whatever it may be to their photographs get everything exactly in the place that they want? Well, you probably know about guides and what I've done here in Photoshop is just create a 500 by 100 uh, sample document and um, I've also got some random text here. Now to get this perfectly centered horizontally and vertically you could kind of drag this down and you see the numbers change and you could go right around 50 percent or 50 pixels and you know that you know you you've eyeballed it and it might be kind of close and then you can drag this wherever you want but I think there's a better way to do it, one that's more accurate. I'm going to clear this guide I just created. And how you could do this is go to View, go down to New Guide, and when this comes up, you've got choices, horizontal or vertical. In this case, I'm going to do the horizontal first. And where it says Position, type in 50 PCT, which is 50% basically. And when you click OK, you've got an exact uh, fifty percent of this uh, screen divided and you can go ahead and randomly you know put that text where you want and you notice when I get the text where I need it um, horizontally the little blue guide changes to purple so that's how I know I'm, I'm where I need to be right there now if I want to do it for the vertical aspect the process is really the same you just create a new guide this time you're gonna choose vertical here you're gonna type in 50 PCT for 50 percent and it's going to give you the exact split. Now when I randomly drag this around I know that you can see how the guide changes when I'm on there and I've got this random text exactly dead center in the middle. Now a couple other things about these guides while you got them up you know I happen to use the color blue if you don't like it you can change it and you can see the cursor here is ready to go but as I start to pass over the guide it changes once it's in that position if you double click this preferences window will come up and you can change the guide to whatever color you want if you'd rather have a light red you can change it to light red or you know leave it cyan wherever it was so you can change that uh, guide color as well well that's the quick tutorial that I want I use this all the time to make sure that things look neat and professional and accurate and I think it's a really good way uh, to make sure that everything is centered up on the page if that's your goal. Now just a, a quick note while I'm thinking of it because this has rem reminded me I just used 50 percent. You can do anything you want so if you wanted a new guide that was 25 percent same thing applies you just try type in 25 percent and boom you get a guide at 25 percent and you can line it up so you can type in any random number you want which is really great at creating these guides so there you have it quick little tutorial on guides I hope you guys enjoy that and find these things useful thanks for sending me the ideas I like doing these little videos these quick brief little tutorials so keep the ideas coming guys and remember if you follow me on social media at patrickcomptasphotography.com I'm on Twitter Instagram uh, I will be happy to return the favor thanks guys have a great day